When I heard the news that Microsoft released a whole bunch of fresh new hardware products today, I was like, okay, I'll take that. I was planning on doing another topic for today, but we got new products. So, all right, we got a brand new Surface Pro 6. We got a brand new Surface Laptop 2. And of course, we have a brand new Surface Studio 2 and a new product that Microsoft has never touched before, and that's headphones. I'll save those Surface headphones for last. They're no AirPods, but hey, I love headphones, and anyone's take is a good take. The Surface Studio is quote unquote coming soon according to Microsoft, but if you do not remember the Surface Studio 1 which came out all the way back in 2016, oh had the years flown by, but this little laptop or computer machine for sure, computer powerhouse, in my personal opinion it's only a niche computer. It starts off first of all in the thousands, so it's nowhere near cheap and I kind of only think it fits a niche of like artists. The Surface Studio brand is not catering exactly to the same consumer as let's say the Mac Pro is or just a regular MacBook for all these professionals. It's a completely different market and I think that's more for creative people. But now with the Surface 2, it's quote unquote the fastest Surface ever and if you're paying at around $3,000 because that's how much it's going to cost you, well it should be the fastest ever because if it's not, that is terrible. The Surface 2 has the exact same screen real estate as the first version at 28 inches but it's not the same screen because in this model it actually has 38% brighter brightness and about a 22% boost in contrast so you're just gonna get a brighter image and let's say you're working in a bright environment but I don't know why you would be using this in a bright environment but uh, whatever and you slightly get a bigger screen because that 28 inch display which is like a TV like that thing is actually like humongous that thing's huge inside the new studio 2 is about a 50% better graphics improvement which is actually gonna help because you actually could connect your Xbox controller to this set up and kind of make it more PC style because PC is arguably better than gaming or on a console. Here's just a completely side thought. I wish I invested in NVIDIA like just a couple years ago because that company is exploding in stock price. But let's get back to these Microsoft announcements. The base model is going to come with two terabytes of solid state storage on the inside starting off with 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's going to start off here. Wait, wait for it. $3,500. I wish I could afford this and rather buy a car. These types of products are 150% not for the general consumer. If you're a general consumer, you could go all the way for $400 for the Microsoft Surface Go laptop. You don't need the whole 20 inch inch display. But just like I said, Microsoft also refreshed a couple of their products that are not as consumer friendly as a Surface Go, which is starts at $400, which is actually a pretty good, decent laptop to buy if you're going in high school or college. But Microsoft did end up refreshing their mid-tier laptops, both the Microsoft Surface Pro 6 and the Surface Laptop 2. And when it came out last year, I heard that it wasn't the best specs for a laptop that's running Windows 10. And that's just personally my problem with these two, like with these refreshes for the Microsoft. I just don't like the software that much. I had a lot of experience with the Surface Pro 4, but I don't know if it's just me accustomed to Mac OS. I just don't like Windows 10. It's just not friendly to me, especially with it like, having updates all the time. That's I don't really like that. Both of these brand new refreshes now come in a brand new color of black. Wow, but I, I love when companies make more options available in color. That's, that's always amazing. These two products still have the same exact hardware design. So the Surface Pro is still that laptop tablet combination, which I think is just not a good idea in the first place. Either choose to be a laptop or choose to be a tablet. These two products, the Pro 6 and the Laptop Tube, had the brand new 8th generation Intel processor, which is of course more efficient, leading to better battery life. The Surface Pro 6 is starting at $900 and correct me if I'm wrong but I think they sell it without the keyboard and the surface pen attached to it so you have to buy that separately and that's going to cost you around a thousand dollars and the surface laptop too is going to start off at a thousand dollars but I don't really know why if you're just like a high school student or a college student or just rather regular like little email checking or Microsoft Word here and there Microsoft PowerPoint I don't know why you want to go for the Microsoft Surface Go I think that's a great product for the value it's definitely not the fastest processor you're going to get out there you're not going to do some heavy gaming on that or some heavy video editing but if you're just watching YouTube videos or checking your email or doing some Microsoft Word that computer can handle it fine 
I'm sorry for all the information boarding. Microsoft hasn't really totally revamped all their products. It's just a slight refresh that I have to go over. But the new product that is slightly interesting is the brand new Surface headphones. These Surface headphones start off at a price of $350, which is right in line for these good noise canceling headphones. Sony is offering a price around that. Bose is offering a price around that. The Beats Studio 3 is around $350. So it's around a good price range. And these headphones charge USB-C and you know I love that and have a battery life of up to 16 hours. The new special take on these headphones to make it special is that Cortana, the you know the assistant, is built into the speakers and also the noise cancellation frequencies so that you don't hear what's happening outside the headphones, you could adjust that with the dial. So let's say you're just in your house, you don't really need heavy noise canceling, you could turn that down. But if you're in the train or subway, you turn that all the way up. And the Surface headphones actually have a feature that the Apple AirPods have. I know in the beginning of the video I said that they're not even competition, which they're not because AirPods are in a league of its own. But the Surface headphones headphones have the same exact feature is that if you take off the headphones it pauses and you put it back on it plays again the airpods have that and that's an amazing feature definitely not the most shocking products but i'll get to some more interesting products in the next couple of days because i have some interesting products that i want to talk about i'll love your opinion about these new microsoft products in the comment section below and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you tomorrow the latest